Yay, part two of making Rhaenyra's wig. Okay, so now let's place the football piece, which kind of <laughs> ends the back part of the head. Um, obviously, it's going to look like a football. And pull the front out of lace. Okay, so placing the football, we're going to take a piece of the veg net all the way across the back part of the wig cap, laying it and kind of tight, a little bit taut through the center. Um, because we definitely are going to have some darts to do down here and possibly up at the top. But you'll want to go ahead and place that still following in that up and down grain of the fabric. So have that place. You're going to have some, probably some odd scraps through here. Okay, so already I placed it wrong because now I'm having a gap when I lay it down right here. So I'm going to have to replace it. Hang tight. I've never recorded myself doing this, so this is actually kind of difficult. But I am pulling taut across the side here. And pulling over here, putting it onto, still leaving a half inch seam allowance all the way around. Oh, all right, still needed to push this on the whole. This is definitely going to change the direction of the hair, but that's okay because I need it to be nice and smooth at the top. Pulling that through all the way. This one's going to have to move too. That's okay. And. We've got the front, the top part of the head to lay flat now. Moving pins around this way. I hope this is interesting. <laughs> hey. Pinning into a wig head. Okay, now I'll show you how to form the darts. Okay, so the top part here is all pinned down nice. Same as we did the bottom, forming the darts, folding over to the inside back neck. Pulling it a little taut, not too overly tight because we don't want to stretch. This, this fabric doesn't really stretch, doesn't have a lot of good give. You can get veg nets that have more stretch to them, but I personally don't like them. They're difficult to sew or to tie together, as you'll see here in a bit. Okay, football placed. Now let's cut it out. Now I did find this a little bit of a flaw that I'm gonna be fixing right now because it's my own wig. I look like I cut this strap a little too far back and I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna place another piece of this veg net right here to kind of gap this a little bit because you don't want so much lace in the front because then it's gonna take you forever in a day to, to tie down hair. So that really stinks. So let me go ahead and place this little piece and then we'll pull the front. Using the same principles as the last time, you will need your lace, some twill tape and some thinner pins. Following the grain of the lace, you're going to stretch it over the complete front of the wig following the grain, and we're going to pin it down like we did last time, including darts all along the side while taping down the front. I will show you how it's done. <laughs> 